Right, well, they're just about all in. And in fact, they're now running as they come out the store, showing good early speed. High, low, one of the first to go on. Coney Borough also up with the pace. Then Turner followed by Crossillian. And so they settle down through the first furlong. High, low, the leader from Coney Borough. Then comes Crossillian. Up on the far side, also showing pace is Aparisto. And Mental is anything racing on the far rails as they cover the first two furlongs. So Mental is anything on the far rails. On the near side, high, low, Coney Borough. Talent also tracking the leaders. Then just in behind them comes Lacoste. Cot, then comes Double Flutter, but towards the rear of the field is Lottie, and also one towards the end of the field is a Ballerina Bay, and also Rosalto. But they have about six furlongs still to go. High low, Cody Borough taking them along, being followed by Coman Comanche's companion. And so racing now up towards the five furlong mark, and as they do so, as you can see, they split into two groups. Talent nicely poised, also up with the leaders on the far side, Lacotte also with them. But as they come now up towards the half a mile from home, with high low still the lead from Coney Borough, then comes Comanche Companion, Talent right in touch on the far side. That's the leading four, back to Raleigh in the grandstand. And the saddle seems to have slipped on uh, number 23, Coney Borough. You can see they're in trouble now, but it's still high low, leading a well past halfway in the Cambridge of the bigger group on the near side. And uh, that is where high low is still Dawning Street making ground for Leicester. Penny drops the favourite is beginning to close as well. They've only got just over a quarter of a mile to go. Over on the far side is Talent leading that group and followed by Lacotte and in that group too. On the uh, far side is Bayer Vague, but Penny drops the favourite now has come through to leave her field trailing. And it's Penny drops the favourite has gone clear. Rambo's Hall is there again. He's in second, then Dawning Street, and after them come Beecham Hero over on the uh, far side. That's Talent racing alone, but it's Penny drops on the near side who's going to win the Cambridge. Penny drops the favourite. The punter's got it right. Penny drops, wins the Cambridge with David to Harrison. Talent close for second and third. Talent Rambo's Hall. Then Lockie for Arlen Everisto, Dawning Street followed in by Melotti. Beecham Hero, Rosalto show faith then came North Crossillian jackpot star after he's lord of the field the trailers include the early leader high low followed in then uh, by uh, just you dare and uh, well a dramatic Cambridgeshire with the favorite getting it penny drops in the end a very very handsome winner penny drops who was number 20 on the card a filly owned by mr stanley j sharp trained by lord huntington one of his several runners in the field trained by him at west Ilsley and uh, ridden by uh david harrison so that, and here is the winner coming in now a penny drops i reckon that number 19 talent finished second also trained by uh lord huntington and ridden by Alan Monroe. There's talent on the far side, but look at the gallant Rambo's Hall trying to create history by winning for the third time. And on the evidence of that picture, just possibly touched off. He was third. And then in uh, a fourth place, um, after them looked like Lockie, the Irish one. Yes, Lockie in the dark blue and white checks with the green cap. Ran very well for Dermot Weld, that one. And uh, next to finish after them uh, could have been uh, Eferisto. But Penny Drops, the winner of the Cambridgeshire. And Penny Drops wins the Cambridgeshire, the 7-1 to one favourite. Only the seventh favourite since 1915 to win it. The second, Talent, double carpet, 33-1. to one. For Lord Huntington, the first and second, as Steve Norton did in 1984 with Leisha Maure Boy. A tremendous training performance by his lordship. And third, though so brave on the far side, Rambo's Hall on the uh, centre-off, the 8-1 to one second favourite. And it looks as though Loki is fourth at 16-1. to one. The Penny Drops has landed a mighty gamble. 7-1 to one favourite, the third favourite since 1990 to win it. The Penny Dropped! Poor old Rambo's Hall, he's done his level best, but there he is, you see, chasing daylight because Penny Drops has opened up a gap from the field on this side. Talent for the Queen on the far side, a tremendous achievement for Lord Huntingdon. He's got the first and second, I think, because Talent just beats Rambo's Hall. So, a victory for the favourite. Well done, the punters. I hardly believe that this looked like a tight handicap beforehand because Penny Drops, she's absolutely slaughtered this field. Trained the second last year. 